Hey, what's up guys? It's John from AdSense Slippers. This is part two of our tutorial on how to get WordPress set up on GoDaddy. Let's get going. So let's minimize this and open up FileZilla. Okay, here's the basic interface. And what you're going to do is you're going to put in the IP address of your server into host, your username, your FTP username, and then your password as well. Now, in order to find that information, go back to GoDaddy, back to your hosting control center, home, and all the information that we need is right here on the front page. Obviously, I'm not going to let you see all of my information, my server, my IP and stuff, but it's all right here. Let's copy our IP. Put it into the host. We'll copy our username right here, and then input our password. And then hit Quick Connect. Okay, if this doesn't work for some reason, you'll get a little warning in this box up here. If it does work, it'll connect, and then you'll see all the files in your server down in this corner. Let's expand this a little bit. Okay, so we're looking for the folder called Red Tables. Here it is. Remember, we created this a little while ago to upload our files into, and this is where all the files for the Red Tables domain are going to be stored. Let's open that up. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and upload our WordPress zip file, which I've already downloaded. So what I like to do is just drag it from the desktop into FileZilla. So I've got it stored kind of on the side here. Yeah, I'll show you. The easiest way to do this is to just drag it right from the desktop into the directory you want to put it in. And this will take just a minute or two and then your files will upload. Okay, it looks like our WordPress file got uploaded. Now we're going to have to actually go into GoDaddy and unpack this zip file. So let's go back there. Back to our hosting control center. We're going to go to FTP File Manager. Okay, now remember our domain is red tables. So if we go down this list and we look for that, here's the subfolder red tables. And there's our WordPress file that we uploaded via FTP. So we're going to click on that and then we're going to go up here to unarchive. That directory is fine by default. We'll hit OK. Okay, here's our unarchived file. However, we actually want all the contents of this folder in this specific directory, not in this WordPress folder. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. And we want to move all of these files back into the red tables folder, because that's where our actual domain is going to reside. So go ahead and click this check mark. We're going to click move and then we're going to go over here and we're going to select red tables and that's going to give us the right directory. We'll hit OK. We'll go back to red tables. Now you can see all our files are in here correctly and we can just go ahead and delete this old WordPress folder. All 
try. Now this is a really important step and it's easy to mistype something and, and have a hard time figuring out what the problem is. So be really careful when you when you edit the config file. So we're going to click this and we're actually going to copy this file. We'll copy it and then we'll paste it back into the same directory but we're going to change the name. So right now it's called wp-config-sample we just want it to be called wp-config.php just like that and then we'll hit OK. So now we've got to go in and edit this file. And what this file essentially does is it links our WordPress installation with the database we created earlier. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. Edit. Okay. Now remember when we copied and saved all our database information earlier into that notepad file? Here it is. Now we're going to use it to set up our actual installation. So database name. Go back to our file. Find the database name. Uh, red table 3. Paste that in. Database user. All right, get that pasted in there. Put our password in. And then finally, we'll grab our host name and paste that in. All right, that should be good to go. Let's click Save. All right, now we're going to go over to our actual domain. It's actually live and online right now. I'm going to type in the domain. Backslash wp-admin backslash install.php. Okay, enter. All right, so this is good. If you see this page after typing in your domain backslash wp-admin backslash install.php and this page comes up, that means you set all the configuration files up correctly and it's connected to your database. So we're going to fill this information in in the next tutorial, but uh, this means we're pretty much good to go.